You have seen India's first indigenous semi high speed Bande Bharat Express on rails. Now we will show you where and how these trains are manufactured. This is the Integral Coach Factory in Chennai, India's oldest and largest coach manufacturing unit. Much is being written about India's first indigenously manufactured semi high speed train, the Bande Bharat Express. which can run at a maximum speed of 162 km per hour prime minister narendra modi on thursday flagged off the fourth train in the bande bharat series from una while the media hype continues with the launch of every bande bharat express the print traveled to the integral coach factory in chennai to see what goes behind the making of the bande bharat trains you can see the factory floor behind me where the entire bande bharat train is being developed step by step in this floor the entire train is put to shape from roof assembling to interior paneling fixing the windows fixing seats fixing the toilets putting the bogey together some 100 workers are on the job here to meet the ambitious target set up by the modi government of rolling out 75 bande bharat trains by august 15 2023 currently four bande bharat trains are under production on this factory floor at 130 to 132 km per hour riding a bande bharat express is a smooth affair but it takes painstaking work for more than 8 weeks to put all this together starting from the under frame of the train to when it rolls out the under frame which is the basic frame of the train is a 23 meter long and the most critical component of the train which sustains its entire structural load and underslung equipments like battery boxes and bio toilet tanks this is the under frame of the bande bharat express the basic structure from where train making starts the workers are on the job here besides the under frame each coach has two side walls two end walls and a roof all made of stainless steel one of the essential component of train making once the skeleton of the train is ready it is taken to the specialized paint booth painting is a tedious task and takes anywhere between 5 to 7 days to complete at the paint booth the car body is painted first with polyurethane paint which is then topped with nano paint are you wondering what is the role of nano paint well it's not only for the glossiness it acts as a graffiti repellent even if you use a marker pen it can be wiped off using a normal cloth is very easy to clean the train nano coat actually protects so the shine is retained for a very long time electrical wiring is another critical work that is done after the painting is completed you can see the workers here doing the wiring fixing the seat is a very last activity the coach is then tested electrically to see whether all systems are working correctly frenetic work is happening on the shop floor at the integral coach factory presently to meet modi government's ambitious target of manufacturing 75 bande bharat trains by august 15 2023 we have manufactured uh, so far four bande bharat trains at uh, integral coach factory chennai first two trains are manufactured under the version uh, first version and in the current version we manufactured uh, two more trains we are standing in the manufacturing bay that is the furnishing uh, of uh, shops uh, where the third rake is currently under the uh, production now the coach behind me you are seeing is a one that has been brought here for the furnishing activities uh, this has been the shell the car body also has been manufactured in uh, icf the car body is made uh, on a cnc laser cutting and uh, welding machine the side walls are uh, welded and um, windows are cut there and then the uh, roof walls has been manufactured under the on the cnc laser cutting and welding machine then the the integrated i mean the framework is integrated on a robotic spot welding uh, machine the side walls the roof and the end walls and under frame are brought into the car body assembly chip and they are assembled together then the car body is manufactured later it goes to the paint shop and there uh, painting is done now the painting has got different uh, paint cycles uh, now the basic painting has been done here 
still the coach has requested the final uh, painting, which will be done after the full furnishing has been uh, completed. Now here we do the um, flooring of the train, each coach. Then afterwards we do the sound insulation uh, paint we provided inside the coach, so that uh, the very little noise is um, coming into the coach. These coaches are uh, made to the international standards, where the sound levels are limited while running to less than 70 decibels. That's how these are made. For that purpose, we have provided a lot of um, uh, sound insulation uh, paints. All functions are checked in the coach level, basic unit level and then train level. Then a run test is taken at the yard at a speed of 15 to 20 km per hour to see how it's behaving. It is at this stage that the Railway Safety Commissioner comes into the picture and gives the go-ahead for rolling out the train. The upgraded Bande Bharat Express is pretty high-tech. It has many unique features which you won't find in regular trains. This train actually has got a lot of unique features in terms of the safety and also in terms of the comfort. When you talk about the safety, we are providing in each coach fire and smoke detection system. So in case of an eventuality, the smoke detectors will actually detect the will 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 detect the uh, fire and uh, that is processed in the controller that is provided in the coach and each coach actually is connected to the main computer inside the driver's cabin so the driver will come to know of it immediately if there is any eventuality is there inside the coach and also automatically some actions uh, do take place on their own like our air conditioning system will be shut down in, in addition to that in the electrical control cabinets we have provided heat detection systems which also will activate the fire suppression also so in case there has been fire inside the electrical cabinet then the heat detector will get will activate a uh, canister whereby the extinguishing of the fire also will take place the same thing has been provided in the toilets also there is a linear heat detection uh, equipment is provided there coupled with the um, fire suppression system which actually happens through the uh, canister then we are providing in this co in this train kavach also you may be knowing that kavach is the latest uh, indigenous uh, invention um, that actually will detect if any train is coming in the same track in the opposite direction it, and it will be uh, applying the brakes automatically not only in the trains also in the other trains and also the driver is uh, not applying the brakes in time and rather overshoots the signal then also the kavach comes into picture and then it, act, it uh, provides the safety to the uh, train. About 80 to 85 percent of the components that go into the making of Bande Bharat train are indigenous. Among the key components that are imported includes the wheels and electronic parts like chips. Trains are almost 100 percent indigenous except for those items, say some like chips, electronic chips are there. There are few items which in all electronic equipments are only few manufacturers in the world. As you must be hearing in Taiwan, in China, something like this. The rest all, they all, all indigenous. So what does it mean for the semi-high-speed train market in India and the railway sector in general? Madam, semi-high-speed, what we understand in Indian railways is something moving at 160 to 200 kmph. We call it a semi-high-speed. And then why semi-high-speed? Because as you must be aware, there is a bullet train uh, being under construction between Bombay and Ahmedabad. They are using something at 300 kmph. So that why something 160 to 200 is semi-high speed. And this train what we are manuf manufacturing is uh, cleared for 160 kmph. The trial side would 180 kmph and it is fit to run at 160 kmph. And uh, under the guidance of Honorable uh, um, Minister, we are also planning to upgrade it if possibility to 200 kmph. And regarding the market, sorry, regarding the, regarding the market, 75 trains is still well to target for us. Beyond that, we will be making at least 50 more such trains beyond August 23. Beyond August 23. So right now, sir, how many trains are under production? Almost 5, 6 trains under production. As I told you that uh, we are committed to make 75 by next August. So keeping that in mind, uh, we are working as per that plan. There is also an all-women Mahila Shakti team that has been deployed at the Integral Coach Factory which has a workforce of over 9,000. Approximately one-tenth are women. The women's team have been deployed 
across the shop floor. Prime Minister Modi has set a tough deadline of manufacturing certified Bande Bharat trains by August 15 next year. Since the first Bande Bharat trains launch in 2018, three more have become operational between New Delhi, Varanasi, New Delhi and Katra, Gandhinagar and Mumbai and Ammandora in Una and New Delhi. But the Integral Coach Factory GM Mr Atul Kumar Agarwal is confident of meeting the target. Madam uh, to answer to the question first I like to go in a bit of history as uh, you will be aware that uh, during the 15th August 2021 a speech of honorable prime minister from the ramparts of red fort he had made an announcement that india will be will be turning out 75 most modern sophisticated vande bharat type of trains although it was a very difficult target but under the guidance of our honorable prime minister and our honorable uh, rail minister icf has been able to meet this target and the first train as you will be aware is already running between ahmedabad and uh, and bombay and the second train in this series of 75 is uh, likely to be inaugurated tomorrow that is 13th of uh, october from a place called una in himachal and as regarding 75 Uh, the target given by honorable prime minister uh, we are that confident and my team is uh, working 24 by 7 although it's a very stiff target but uh, i am quite sure we'll be able to make, make it it's actually a race against time for the integral coach factory team to roll out 75 bande bharat trains by august 15 next year will they be able to meet the target one will have to wait for that but former integral coach factory gm sudhanshu mani under whose tenure bande bharat express then known as train 18 was conceptualized and executed told the print that now that icf has already developed four trains and have got a hang of the process they can easily roll out three to four trains per month and around 40 by august 15 next year which according to him is a good number this is moshumidas gupta for the print from the integral coach factory at chennai